pretty fun. We were just out here with a new team in town and playing them on Saturday, so this is competitive. Is, is that the attitude you kind of took, just, uh, you know, go for it, don't worry about anything else? Don't worry, uh, don't worry about anything else. It's like I prepare so hard that uh, I just go out there and just play freely. So for me, just going out there and doing my job, whatever the play is called, just execute it, just kind of keep it simple. Are you getting any feedback? You know, because, I mean, you're up there with Jefferson and you know, number one pick, all this stuff. Um, definitely a lot of feedback from uh, from uh, my teammates and uh, definitely my room and the coaching staff and um, actually uh, yeah yeah the OC and uh, KO itself too so uh, that, that's a good thing as well but uh, I try not to think about it I just go out there and do my job keep it simplistic as possible. Did, did you approach the joint practices as kind of knowing you had a, a chance to kind of show what you could do against another team? Um, definitely, but um, I think in, with my mindset, I kind of approach that every day, you know, especially just going out here and um, and uh, making it sound easy, like doing my job, but like just the preparation of it all and um, just me going out there and um, not thinking, just playing, and every day is like that for me, uh, mm-hmm. just keeping that chip on my shoulder, so like I just want to make a play every day. What, what happened on the, on the catch, on the situational drill at the end? What, what did you see on that play? Um, I've seen a lot. I've seen zone. I know this was zone early, so I knew that I can uh, dictate my release with uh, in the, the coverage scheme that they had. Um, he was playing outside leverage, so I just attacked him, pushed him vertical. I knew it was going to be a touchdown before the play, honestly, just me just knowing. But uh, I knew it was on, and I just got to my uh, got to my spot in the field. The handshake with JJ, is that just between the two of you? Um, <laughs> yeah, cool. so like, I don't know what it's called, but everybody called me like the handshake guy or something. I got a handshake with like, everybody. So like, uh, it's pretty cool that like, I got like three with JJ, so I didn't even know what we was going to do, but it was just like kind of cool that we the same one so uh uh yeah that's only with him then i got kj kirk uh, nick everybody so it's kind of fun <laughs> how have you felt just coming back from the injury obviously that initially looked much worse than it was and it seems like you kind of got second life here um that's what it was i think i think it was a second life i know i'm I was just in, a, uh, in the bible and spiritual uh, my spirituality and christian like and i just kept praying during the whole process and um i think it was a second life for me um just coming out here and um Knowing that it all can get taken away so quick, you know. So uh, now my approach is just going out there and giving it my all every play, every down, and uh, trying to help my team uh, build for the future. And uh, that's, that's, that's basically it. Is that something that's totally behind you, or are you still kind of playing through it? Um, at this point, um, I got such a good group of receivers around me and training stuff. I don't even th- really think about it. Um, they come up to me and ask me, uh, especially after plays like that in the back of the end zone, like, how do you feel? Damn, I'm glad to call you back. And whatever. All of that is just positive energy for me. So it's kind of like, in my, in my review, I, I should say. So uh, I'm getting better. Um, not 100%, but I think I'll be there by Saturday. Kirk was talking today about how obviously you guys want to win practice, you want to win the series, but it's also important to to learn things during these practices, even if it means that the that the other team wins the play or the series. Can you just talk a little bit about that, about what you can gain from, from practicing against another defense? Um, not seeing the same defense every day, and I think that's very key uh, because uh, just knowing the different things that Brian Flores, our defensive coordinator, do that uh, their defensive coordinator doesn't do um, can help us out in the long run, meeting and seeing new teams long, long way from now in November, November play and stuff like that, and just um, seeing a different scheme of defenses and uh, what we can run and what we can get done in that in that, in that order. And, um, it's obviously just the different energy that brings too uh, when another team comes in and um, just staying focused, they uh, locked in and doing the little things when that team come in and every it's a, it's a lot that we can gain from it and I can keep going on and on but I feel like it's it's great that NFL teams do this uh, all over the league so I think it's a very good thing for uh, both sides of the world, the both sides of the team. I mean.